Welcome to this Let's Play where we are looking at all the missions in Transport Fever 2 and there are three chapters of missions, six missions to each chapter and we are currently on chapter 2 mission 4 and it can also be regarded as mission 10 in the overall campaign and you can see this one we have gone back to the west coast of the United States of America and this one is called High Flyer we are doing the period from 1934 to 1954 and it looks very much like we are going to be working with Howard Hughes who's probably one of the more interesting characters of this time period around Hollywood and the West Coast you can see he wanted um, he was he was really into aircraft film all sorts of things and you've got some bonus tasks it says a professional golfer flying career and a blockbuster so these must relate to Howard Hughes so we're just going to kick straight off and get in and that's a pretty impressive picture of an aircraft flying over the top of Hollywood sign know a few things about bookkeeping well enough that a young heir to millions has contracted you to run his businesses for him you have a general power of attorney To fulfill any and all of his wishes. Do whatever you can to help expand his empire. Make Mr. Howard Hughes the richest man in the world. Your client wants nothing less than to produce the most phenomenal film in the history of Hollywood. It's supposed to revolve around an epic dogfight during the First World War. Mr. Hughes needs loads of authentic aircraft to accomplish this, and you're supposed to dig them up. But there are hardly any planes left of the ones called for. Contact everyone who still owns suitable examples. Acquire all of the old airplane models that are still available for Mr. Hughes. If only so that any competitors won't be able to use the planes for their own film project. So it says find Junkers F-13 airplanes for the film at, at the airport, in Bakersfield, at the villa and in Los Angeles. And we've got to find 10 of them. But before that, let's have a look around the map. So this looks very much like we're going to be very aircraft orientated. We've got what we've got here. We've got Mr. Hughes's factory. So we're obviously going to be supplying supplies to there. We've got a Los Angeles distillery. What have we got up here? We've got a sawmill here from San Jose. So that's probably going to have to supply stuff to there. And it looks like the Fresno Tools Factory. And we've got San Francisco up here. Looks like they haven't built the Golden Gate Bridge yet. I'm sure the Golden Gate Bridge was built around the 1930s. So we've got San Francisco. A nice long road down here. We, to Santa Barbara, Bakersfield, Los Angeles. Looks like we've got a golf course here. And we've got an, a food processing plant. Looks like it's making ice creams. Anyway, let's just... Oh, what we got here? we got a steel mill there. And we've got the beginning of a rail line as well. Is that one or two tracks? Must admit, after doing the Swiss mission... I'm starting to look a lot more about dual tracking. Oh, well, we must have start up here. So what have we got here? A famous actress owns three of the right models and would entrust them to you. If you take care of having the road to her mansion asphalted. All we got to do is build a road. Yeah. I think we can do that. Whoops. I'm only going to build a small road up. That's the... We got three aircraft, built a road to the villa. And once we move down, whoops, cancel that. Suppose we better start at Baker's next one at Bakersfield. Whoops, what we got here? The group of owners would sell their airplanes, but they're concerned about how the planes will be treated. Guarantee that the planes remain intact by training skilled stunt pilots. We've got to complete five takeoffs and landings at Bakersfield. So, 
zoom in what we've got to do is just buy a door near just buy a junkers and I suppose what we've got to do is just um, let me just do that take off and land and click there I'm just going to assign you to line one. I'm not going to name it because we'll probably get rid of it eventually. It's telling us line one is not complete. It's going to see if this aircraft will actually just take off and land without doing it. It did it in the the French mission with Berlio or Berlier. And um, while that's running, let's just have a quick look at what we've got to do for Los Angeles. Mr. Filippo, a star on the local music scene, would hand over an airplane if you shoot your film with sound instead of as a silent film. That requires precise calibration of the microphones. We've got to make noise in Los Angeles. Probably the easiest way to make noise in Los Angeles is to put in some kind of bus line or something like that. To uh, keep putting. Probably going to need it anyway, so if we put in a. Something like that. Um, and I suppose we could be. Um, where can we put this? Uh, we'll put this. Of course, we have to make up roots. No. It's very much like uh, Los Angeles is a, probably a pretty noisy place anyway. <laughs> like a vehicle, a passenger. We got here Schneider. And we're going to buy about. Quite a big place, so we'll buy six of these. And we're going to find them to. And I suppose we better actually. I manager. So this is Los Angeles. Angeles. Oops. Transport. So what we're doing now is just waiting on the training flights. We're just going to wait that to run through. I think what we're going to do is best manage the line. Yeah, I think if we put a, a line there, that will feed the airport. Yeah, it was a bit of a mistake there. Very good. Meanwhile, the necessary aircraft have been assembled. Now the film set has to be appropriately prepared, and it must be ensured that no obstructions hinder the planes from taking off and landing. Make sure that the Junkers F-13 fly through this highlighted area at the same time. Highlighted areas here. My instinct is that if well we built a we've got an air right aircraft, don't we? I think if we build if we build a uh, a line from there to there. Loss and Julie's to let's just put Santa in there. I'm not sure whether Barbara no, I could give it a go. If 
we put um we need some yunkers three eight three so if we put four aircraft on that line question is will they fly through this zone here okay uh, what i've actually found is that it's taken a little while to work this out with the clue but what you've actually got to do is stop an aircraft in this area here let it circle and let the other ones fly through at an arbitrary point so we've got one aircraft kind of circling in the area and what should happen is that when this aircraft enters mr hughes aviator movie is in the can and now breaking all records at the box office but your client already has new plans in store he not only wants to shoot films about flying he wants to own his own airline he's already been able to nail down some shares in a transcontinental airline but sadly not enough for a controlling interest yet make sure that your boss becomes the majority shareholder in the airline by acquiring more than 50 percent of the shares okay so we've got final opportunities at, at the airfield the golf course and a party location so what have we got to do here mr weber bets that your boss won't be able to break the speed record for circumnavigating the globe if he does he'll surrender his shares to him now he needs to train to win the bet it says keep an aircraft in the air for an unbroken period of time three minutes now technically we've got this run here so do we actually have to come up with a very long range okay we'll just let that fly because this is a long route from uh, los angeles to san francisco so that might actually work so we may actually do that mr hughes has made it his goal to become the world's best golfer you're supposed to support him on the way your boss would like to have a place where he can practice playing golf with his current girlfriend the famous actress Catherine Hepburn first of all a challenging course with interesting landscaping has to be created we're going to deliver sand the owner of a golf course in Beverly Hills will be prepared to secretly acquire shares from third parties if in return you help to increase the popularity of her greens make sure the golf course gets plenty of visitors does that mean we actually have to doesn't necessarily say that we've got to build an aircraft airport there is it okay so we've got to finish the first one transporting guests I'm going to look. I mean could we do this with actually out an airport we could just do it with roads hmm my instinct is to try it with roads first no, mate. So I think what we're going to do is just going to and we're just going to put a new route in tracks. Oops, tracks. It's probably not going to be the most elegant of solutions, but I think it will work. This the guess guess line. Right, we've got. Throw a rip roaring party for Mr. Hughes. 
Use a program of outstanding scheduled events and excellent catering to make sure that a flock of illustrious guests shows up who happen to own shares in a certain airline. So we gotta deliver alcohol to the hotel. Where's the hotel? So that's his hotel. The alcohol is up here. So I think what we'll do is we've got to build a route from here. So I'm just gonna put that that about there. And we'll put the depot up here as well because that will save a bit of time. Put a truck delivery stop down here next to um. you the alcohol alk ah, ah, can't spell alcohol line what missions have we just completed we just got It looks very much like we've actually delivered guests to the golf course. So we're just going to get here, uh, buy vehicles, cargo. Right, this is the best one. Year 40, year for We're going to go for the thing. Just going to buy four of those. And um, we're going to assign you to the alcohol line. You can deliver the alcohol. So we've got to deliver the alcohol. We've got to. And next thing we've got to do is deliver sand to the golf course. Right, there's the sand quarry. And we've got to deliver sand up there. So the first thing we're going to need is a, a row through here. I don't want to. Actually, if we connect up. Through like that, and then a crater. Oops, no. Ah. We need a, a truck stop here. How far away can we get? Probably far enough. And again, we're just going to deliver here. So. Probably just put this on the other side of the road. The right one, isn't it? Truck stop, unload. And we create a new line from there to here. Okay. So that's connected. Where's my trucks? They were just waiting. So all we got to do now is deliver sand to the golf course. Beyond that, we how are we doing here? Uh, station statistics, very good, very good. Well, we're doing pretty well okay with that. Very good. You've laid the foundations for a course that arouses interest. But what's still missing now is the aesthetic touch and the necessary discretion. What we're going to do now is plant some trees in the golf course. That shouldn't be too difficult. Let's make the brush a bit bigger. This will be here forever. 
and bigger. Better not plant uh, the mid right in the middle of the fairways, I suppose. We should. What an eye-pleasing green. Since Mr. Hughes takes pleasure in every convenience, he should be able to land his plane right next to the golf course. We've got to build uh, a, an airport next to the golf course. Wow. I think building this road here causes a problem. So if we take the road up to about there and leave this road here. It's going to make the journey time a little bit further, but... I think we then bring a road out here like that, and around like that. That's going to be hard to tell with that, actually. Have to put it this way, aren't we? Gonna pause. Gonna take out this road here. Um. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. The golf course is extremely exclusive. Now it's up to Mr. Hughes to improve his handicap. Um. I'll just bring you in and connect that up there. What's up here? Um, okay, we've got a bit of a one line. I think we can get rid of the sand delivery line, so we'll just get rid of this. Let's do a bit of housekeeping and delivery managed trucks. You. Uh, then we'll just get rid of this line. Um, the U. Wonderful. Mr. Hughes's airline is currently in the process of really taking off. But your boss already has his mind on other things. Instead of merely flying aircraft, he wants to build them himself. At any rate, the US Army has called for tenders for several interesting contracts. Help to develop prototypes which will soon be the pride of the whole nation. Modern aviation holds numerous challenges. Your boss is a genius who finds the right solution for every problem. All that's missing is putting the solutions into practice. So we've got to complete tasks at the tool factory, the steel mill and the sawmill. So we might as well start here. What's the task here? Mr. Hughes is supposed to design a seaplane for the military. Since steel is a scarce wartime commodity, the gigantic flying boat has to be built entirely out of spruce. Oh, the spruce goose. So where's the workshop? We've got a workshop here. All right. It's just, I'm not that I don't trust uh, Howard Hughes, but so, uh, just get him here. The US Air Force has ordered 98 XF-11 planes, which are supposed to be deployed as reconnaissance aircraft overseas in Europe. Get your hands on the necessary material. Mr. Hughes wants to be not... To achieve his goal, Mr. Hughes needs to complete quite a few training flights. Make the necessary preparations so that your boss can soon claim to be the world's best pilot. So, just get this out of the way first. Let's just pause the game because it's it's running on a little bit. Let's just. Oh yeah. Why can't we don't have enough aircraft? Okay. Um, Los Angeles to Santa Barbara, managed vehicles. 
confirm disposal, yes. Uh, by a vehicle. I suppose technically he doesn't need to be we buy one of these. What we're gonna do is just create a an, an airline. Here and to here, it's on you. Line one. Get that out of the way and operating. So we we got to do that. right. I'm just going to click on this one. For his latest project, Mr. Hughes is experimenting with the widest variety of materials and equipment. So we're going to deliver sure his three items here to, to be the designed. workshop: train or road. I, I think it doesn't say how much we got to deliver. My instinct is just to stick with road for some things, so I'm going to come here and what we're going to have is three platforms on the left. Actually, we'll have two platforms on the and um, to make it a bit bigger than normal. So we're, we're going to have to put in quite a lot of stuff into here. Um, I'm just going to go back to, we're going to have to put a platform in here so we're gonna put in one there and then we've got the plank mill here I mean this is gonna take a long time to ship stuff down using trucks but I don't really want to spend the money I suppose I could spend the money on rail now we'll do it with trucks Here, a few stations. Yeah, but that's just how it Hughes doing his thing with the, the golf course, isn't it? Right. I suppose we better start with the most distant first. New line. I'm going to send you to here. Nope. Cancel. Go on you there. Go on you here. New line, you here, new line here, so here. Actually, I wonder if I, if I connected. Ah, I think we can live with that. So. Oops. Heavens. Mr. Hughes crashed in the course of a test flight over the country club and <laughs> suffered serious injuries. Now he's bored stiff in the hospital and tinkering with a motorized hospital bed. He wants to have a prototype built right there, according to his instructions. Right, just going to pause again. A little bit more tidying up. I'm certainly going to vehicle manager aircraft. I was just going to sell you. And then what we're going to do is just come here, line one, we're going to get rid of you. I can get rid of that message at the top there. And first things first, we're going to put a truck depot up here. We'll put a truck depot here. You're going to be delivering goods and um, we're going to buy about four of these and what line is this? Why is that chevron? don't like the look of that. And we're going to assign you to line two. Just gonna let the game start to run. I suppose we're just feel that it'd be quicker to build. 
truck deep is like that. I mean, this is a mission, so um, five miracles. Year 40, year 30, 40. I'll buy about five of you. And I'm going to assign you to ah, well, that line. <laughs> Whatever that is. And that should go to there. And um, I think I want to get two over the top. So this is wooden plank. So we need something that will carry that planks. Yeah, but this is this is the better one. So I'll we'll buy about five, six of you. And we're going to assign you to the green line. So what we're going to do now is to select this run. And I think the other mission, we got Flying Ace here. He needs steel delivered to the hospital. Yeah. So this steel. Steel mill. So we need another route from here. Down to where's the hospital? Can't find it. Is that the hospital there? I don't think so. Cancel. Gotta find the hospital. There's the hospital there. Ah, we haven't got a delivery point. Just put a uh, point just outside the hospital and station there. And what we're going to do is get buy another couple of trucks to deliver the steel. Uh, I think maybe we'll buy two and just gonna assign you to. Line one again. Again, that's just going to be a temporary line, so there's no point worrying too much about that. We're just going to speed the game up and let it run. Um, it shouldn't take that long. So I'll see you once we start to get the deliveries coming in for the, either the hospital or the workshop up here. Here we got the first trucks arriving now. Yep. So we've delivered steel. And we've got the next lot coming down here. So we've delivered tools. So all we need now is somebody to deliver the planks. Oh, we've got a truck Due coming in. Due to unfortunate circumstances, the orders placed by the army were unable to be completed. As a penalty, Congress has now ordered your boss to fly the lawmakers around for free. Is transport 10 people between Santa Barbara and San Francisco free of charge. So that means we've got to set an airline up between here and here. That shouldn't be that big a problem. Uh, so we're going to. And this the airport. It is. Do the task the passengers on this route don't generate any income. Okay, so it's airfield to airfield, yes. Okay. Um, and it's Santa Barbara to San Francisco. So we're just going to We've got a couple of aircraft here, so you should be able to assign that to line two. How's our flying ace doing? This area here. And tools. Okay, we messed up a bit here. We we need a line for tools. Wow, that is a long way. And getting a new. Yeah, 
things are getting a little bit messy here. I must admit, this is a very messy scenario. I'm not particularly enjoying it that much, to be honest. Because uh, it's, I don't know, it just strikes me as kind of just being, I'm, I don't feel I'm building anything, is probably the polite way of saying it. Uh, so what do we want here? We need tools. Uh, I'm just going to build three trucks here. And I'm going to assign you to line three. So again, we're just going to let this run. As I say, it does seem very messy compared to, say, like, I enjoyed the Swiss mission. Because that, I really felt like I was building something. Uh, say, this mission just seems like you're just doing kind of odd tasks. I don't get a feel for it. It's probably the polite way of saying it. Okay, a little bit of a quick update. We're just waiting for some trucks to deliver something to here we've got 18 steel we've got no tools at the moment and we're still waiting for this area here the automatically adjustable bed promises relief for a multitude of afflictions meanwhile mr hughes has already left the hospital so we've now completed the mission to deliver to the hospital and that's running along quite nicely and the airport here fits in quite nicely as well all we're doing now is just waiting for the uh, congress people to uh, fly in right we've got nine out of ten passengers i think this is the last one to come in and land this is the one that's Oh no, it's Los Angeles to Santa Barbara. One of these has got to be coming in from. There After we are. the unpleasant issue with Congress, Mr. Hughes has had enough of aircraft manufacturing for now. However, his passion for film has been rekindled, which made him promptly buy a production company. Help your boss shoot the greatest blockbuster of all time. Mr. Hughes's film studios have several sensational projects in the pipeline. Decorate the different film sets with the right props. Okay. So where's the film film sets? Okay, we've got the film sets down here. Let's start what we got here. A contemporary music film about the turbulent romance between two young Hollywood starlets is being shot here. Get your hands on the necessary props to create the right atmosphere. Mr. Hughes is set on becoming the most famous film producer of all time. What's stopping him? The commie riffraff hanging around his studios. He has contracted you to put an end to the communist infiltration of Hollywood once and for all. Right, I'm just gonna accept that. The staff working on the set are on strike. What nerve. It's the poisoned ideology of those Ruskies that fills their heads with that kind of flim flam. Show those people that they're still in good old America. Yeah, we'll get round to that. Let's just pause it. And what we've got to do is we've got to decorate the film set with benches and street lights. I'm pretty sure that that's in here somewhere. Right, we've got... Uh, street lights. Zoom these are street lights. So we completed that task. What's the resolving the strike? Set, set things to write in the studio. Uh, come on, stop messing about. A group of screenwriting hacks is supposed to be responsible for the pinko epidemic. Find out where these agitator characters hold their meetings. It must be somewhere in the industrial part of Los Angeles. It's got to be here. The communist forces are slippery and dodge your investigations. Stake out their homes in Santa Barbara and Bakersfield without attracting attention. Right, that's there. Where's Bakersfield? There's Bakersfield. It's, uh... Ha! You've caught the pinko rats in the act with a handful of ideological pamphlets. Now they have to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee in Washington. 
see to it that they get there as fast as possible. Probably the easiest way to do this would be to go to free ride, banish miracles. Uh, wow, well, see, see if something one. So, so yep. the main culprits have been blacklisted. Now it's just a case of getting rid of their supporters. Clean out Mr. Hughes's studios by firing the percentage of the workforce who've been contaminated with communism. Clean out the studio now. The commie threat is over and done. Okay. With. Nothing Blockbuster. stands in the way of Mr. Hughes's career as the world's most famous film producer anymore. Right, let's just get back to these missions. What do we need to do for these missions? Actress Jane Russell Still. needs a special bra that shows off her <laughs> <clears throat> assets to the best advantage. Mr. Hughes fiddles around with an idea involving special steel supports. Right, so we gotta make steel supports. Well, we got loads of lines in here, so what have we got here? Now this is where naming the lines would have been the steel line. Right. If we We've got to deliver to there, so if I put in a truck delivery stop just about there, go to there, leap that, and that's the station. And this is the steel line. And just want to make sure we got vehicles on it. Yep. So that one should run forward nicely. The film about an enterprising newspaper tycoon is supposed to become an exceptional masterpiece, building the extravagant scenery that's intended to form the setting for the drama. Um, where's the plank line? No, it's not that one. Probably don't really need that line now. Where's the plank line? It's up here, isn't it? It is just... Oh, we've got planks. There we are. Let's right. You're back, Bakersfield North, and we've actually got to deliver there. So technically, if I delete that line and add you to there. Let's check well, the planks to the film set three. Oh no, you're in the wrong place. Oh well, a bit of a, bit of a fail there. So we're just gonna put you there. Uh, plank line, delete Mill Street, add you to there. And there's the planks. Just want to make sure the vehicles are still in case, okay. Again, we're just going to have to wait for the trucks to deliver the planks and the, the steel to the film sets, and I'll be right back once that's actually done. Right, so we've made the special bra. Now we're just waiting for the planks to be delivered to do the backlog, and what I'm just doing is a little bit of housekeeping because this is starting to annoy me a little bit. So I think we'll just get rid of that line. So we've now reduced our kind of demands for aircraft down very low now all we've got is the single line from los angeles to santa barbara the most exciting film project of all time mr hughes is going to film the life of the great Genghis khan in the starring role the legendary john wayne himself create an authentic mongolian desert scenario so we've got to deliver sand to in theory that should be close enough to there so i don't think i've got the sand line anymore but i think i deleted it yeah so what we're gonna have to do is just put the uh, a new line from there to there and we're just gonna have to get i mean we've got any trucks in here okay what type of trucks have i got here what type of trucks are you? You can deliver sand, right? 
because I've got absolutely no idea what line that is. It's the pale blue line. Call you the sand line again. I knew I should have left it, but that's the way it goes. I don't think I really need line one as well, so let's we'll get rid of right. line one. Manage vehicles. Uh, sell you off. Line one, manage line, delete you. There's all these kind of scrappy lines that are starting to annoy, annoy the heck out of me. So, oops, cancel. So, what does that just leave me with? Line three. Okay, we don't need you either. Then we'll get rid of line three. Miracles just sell you off as well. I just can't be bothered to find out whether um, so everything's been tidied up quite nicely, so we're now just quite happily delivering the sand to the back lot. Um, the film about the legendary Mongol yeah. leader is in the can. Thanks to your help, shooting the film near a former atomic bomb test site went off without a hitch. <laughs> now the greatest silver screen sensation of all time is supposed to celebrate its premiere. Although, Mr. Hughes doesn't exactly seem to be jumping for joy. In a nutshell, he's been acting very strangely lately. Huh, but that's rich folks for you. Prepare everything for the grand premiere so that the film has everyone attending, ooing and ahhing. Okay, make all the prep of the station. So what have we got here? The hotel and the premiere. We got effectively finished this. I think that was a reference to uh, Howard Hughes starting to kind Bring of become the compulsive. Stars of the silver screen to the premiere in a vehicle that matches their status. What could be better for this than the super chief, the train of the stars? From San Francisco, and he made a mistake there. Wow, this is going to be a long run. Um, we're done. So probably what we need to do is come through here. Try and keep the track as cheap as possible. Uh, we're going to run alongside the road here. So about there. What we're going to do is just the. I think it might be better to run through here, isn't it? So if we we run up to about there, and then run through about there, and then get across. Out there. There's 123 kilometers an hour. Um, and we can run through to about there. And this can run to about there. You can join in about there. So. Now we've got a line from there to there. Now we're going to run from San Francisco to here. Oh, no. It helps if I actually build a train depot. I think for the purposes of this, we're just going to build a train depot here. So 
like the super track in. And what do we need to build? Station. Bring in the stars. We've got to bring use the super chief. So, what is the super chief when it's at home? Super chief wagon. Now, um, is this line electrified? Yes. So, I think if we buy one of those. Now, one of those, we'll just buy that. And I'm just going to sign you to line one. So we've now, so all we had to do was connect it. Thank you, game. Your boss's behavior is making you nervous. In the end, wasn't the film as good as it seemed? At any rate, it seems advisable to pacify the invited press a bit, yep. just to be on the safe side. A long bus ride will make them lethargic and manageable. Okay, so we've got to set up a long bus route. <laughs> um. Everything is ready. Mr. Hughes is the only one missing. He announces that he'd prefer to celebrate the premiere alone in a hotel suite. What's more, he lets it be known that he's in the mood for banana and nut ice cream. Okay. Lots of banana and nut ice cream. Fulfill this wish for him. So we got to deliver ice cream from here to the hotel. I think we've already got a truck stop here, haven't we? Yeah. In Fifth Street. So all we gotta do is put in a another uh, let's put that in there. And we're just gonna create a new line from where's the ice cream so what we're going to do now is just put in uh, something from there to hotels here isn't it so um, for you ice cream And I'm just gonna buy some vehicles that can carry ice creams. Okay, I'm just gonna buy all of you, assign those. I need to ice cream. What we've got to do is establish a line with two stops, vehicles en route, chauffeuring around. From the airfield here. Premier here. So we gotta create a bus stop with two stops. So I'm assuming that right. um, I've actually got to establish a line from there to there that with two stops okay so we've got to put in um, let's put a next stop out there then and so this is valley street so I am very cool passenger very cool uh, just buy one Right, we delivered the ice cream. Something wrong with this. So we need to start here. 
and we've got to use waypoints. So. That will be long enough to line up. Go to there, go to there, go to there, go to there. Okay. I'm just going to sign you to. So we, yeah, we had to build this area here, and what we're going to do now is see whether we put enough waypoints in now to actually see whether the line will work. So we're just going to let this run to see if I've done enough on it. Okay, a bit of a quick update. What I actually found was because I had an efficient public transport system in here, nobody wanted to take the long route. So what I actually had to do was delete the public transport network in here and so that people actually came down here to get up to there and they're actually now on the scenic route. Hopefully I've put enough of a delay in to <laughs> reach the five minute requirement. I think this is the bus that's got... This is the one with the passenger on so we'll just keep an eye on this. He's got to go all the way up round here. I think it should be okay. Yeah, we're going to do it quite easily. So, effectively, you just got to create a loop up round here. Get to the Premiership. Um, yeah, we're going to do it quite easily. Here we come. Despite all the effort, the critics panned the film and tore it apart. A total disaster. Mr. Hughes has contracted you to buy back all the film copies in circulation to spare him from any more gloating. So what we're going to do now is just start trying to make a profit. We're going to make 10 million profit. I mean... Right, how can we get the turnover going. Buying back the copies. I think I'm just going to let this run and settle down a bit to see how I'm doing here. I mean we're making a reasonable profit at the moment. I mean we can put the public transport network back in again and get that working. Yeah I think I'll do that. Just to... There we are. Okay, we finally finished this mission. It sneaked up on me when I was not paying attention. I was looking at railway lines. Finally managed to get it completed. We finished all the subplots. And I'm going to be completely honest that I actually found this mission quite messy. And I didn't really particularly enjoy it. We just let it run. So let's go. Yeah, I, I think it was just... It, I did, it seemed to lack the focus of other missions. But it really wasn't a, a mission that I can say I really enjoyed. But in, And hopefully the next one will be a little bit better. But this is where I'm going to leave it. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.